is another week here in Dido's studio. So today I'm going to be tackling uh, this painting, the pair that came with my uh, little Starry Night girl over there. I think I might move her to my bedroom just because I feel like a Starry Night painting is more appropriate there. And to match the rest of the artwork that I have on this wall, I think I want to make something more um, bright and daytime appropriate. You may have noticed that I also gessoed over this piece, which I didn't do to that one because I really needed to start painting that day. So I just decided to paint over it. Um, it was doable, however, it did make it like the paint didn't really catch on as well to the canvas and it kept leaving little gaps. So I learned later on that that's because I didn't gesso it. So hopefully by adding that extra layer of primer onto this one, it's gonna um, hold on to the paint a lot better and it'll make the whole experience a lot easier.
we're doing something a teeny tiny bit different today. So I've had these noise cancelling headphones for a really long time. So many people ask me what model this is. This, this is the Sony WH-1000MX3, not the easiest name to pronounce. They still work great, so I don't really want to replace them or anything, but the leather is starting to um, peel. So what I did was for the headband area over here, I asked my niece to crochet like a little covering for me there just to kind of, I don't know, hide the peeling. However, for the ear pads, I was able to buy a replacement piece. I just found these on Lazada. So I guess I'll leave a link to them down below if that's something that you're interested in, uh, especially if this works out. So I'm gonna try to replace them on my own and hopefully that doesn't go too badly. They're not like a super 100% color match as you can see, but they match the headphones, just not the old pads. Okay, let's try this out. In this quick video, I'll show you how to replace the ear cushions and the ear pad on Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones. This is honestly quite terrifying because I love my earphones, so I really don't want to break them. Ah, what's that, right? Ta-da! Ah! They say not to touch the middle because that's where the mechanics of this thing is. So I'm just gonna take out the ones that came with the replacement pad. Line this up properly. Is this right? Yes, this way, not this way. All right. Gentle pressure to snap all these pieces of plastic into the frame. Okay. okay. Huh, I think it's in. I didn't really hear it snap, but I think it's in. <laughs> it's not falling off. <laughs> All right, that wasn't so bad. Okay, second side. This pry tool is not the best. It's already starting to give. Uh, and I still have a second one to go. So I really hope it doesn't break before then. Uh, I wonder if there's something else I can use. I'm gonna try it with my palette knife. I really hope this doesn't destroy anything. Because that little pry tool was only good for one device. Oh no, be careful. Okay. Oh no, so scary. <sighs> Did I get it? I think I got it. That was a terrifying sound. Yes. Okay. Ta-da! All right. Oh, yep, I felt that one snap into place.
Zeit.